Hey, what's happening, guys? We are going to continue on today with our Arduino Foundation series. And we're going to talk about one of the things I think is the most important thing to consider when learning to work with Arduino. And that is the analog pins. And the reason for that is because you can do so much with them. And for our demonstration here today, all you see is a potentiometer attached to positive and negative voltage and its wiper being sent to pin A0. Doesn't look like there's much going on there. But if you understand how to do this concept, then your Arduino voyage, your journey, is going to be a lot more interesting. This is a, a key point in understanding. So remember, we have two types of pins on the Arduino. We have our digital pins over here. Digital 2. Let me actually do wrap around it here. Digital pin 13. Then we have A0 through A7 here. Those are our analog pins. Our digital pins can only read on off 1, 0. True, false. Basically, that's it. They are binary. They are Boolean. They, they either, there's something there or there's not something there. And that's really all they can do. The analog pins, on the other hand, can read a value between 0 and 1023. So a full, what is that, 8 bits? And we can take that value and we can turn it into other things, and that's where things start getting interesting with the Arduino. But first, let me demonstrate how this works. Let's head over to the computer. All right, so here's our code, and it's super simple. Up here, before our setup section, we have our what I call the declaration section, and we're going to define an integer variable called potentiometer, and we are going to put a zero in it. Okay, you put any number you want in there, doesn't matter. But I'm storing it with a zero because we're just starting out. Remember this being an integer variable, it has to be a whole number. That's the only thing we're declaring in this sketch. Now we're moving on to our setup section. This is the thing that runs once and tells the Arduino how we want its pins to behave. So first of all, we have pin mode which is telling you what we wanted to do to one of the pins. That particular pin we're talking about is analog zero, and we want to make it an input. And you'll notice I put over here in the comments, no pull up or pull down is needed as this pin never floats. Yeah, in this case, there's always going to be a value on it from the potentiometer, so we don't have to pull it high or pull it low. We want whatever value it reads. And you're going to find a lot of the times in dealing with Arduino, you're not going to use pull up or pull down on an analog read. That's simply going to be for digital. Now, the next thing, and is one of the most important things I hope you get from this whole series, is debugging your sketches. You're always going to come up with little issues. How do you find them? Well, here's how I like to do it. I always open a serial port. So we have serial.begin9600. That's just opening a serial port at 9600 baud. Now, we go down here to the main loop of our program. And this is going to run over and over until we stop it by unplugging the Arduino or resetting it or something. And what we're saying here is read that analog zero pin, which we told it up here to be an input so we can read it. Read the analog zero pin and store that value in the integer variable called potentiometer. And then our output for this program is simply serial print line. And that line simply puts a carriage return at the end so that each um, value appears on its own line. And we don't have to wonder about it. So serial print line, whatever is in the variable potentiometer. All right. So let's bring up our serial monitor, and you can see right here, our serial monitor is full of nothing but zeros. I'm going to turn the potentiometer. You can see now we're at about 40. 
now we're in the high 200s, 300s, 400s, 500s, 600s, 700s, blah, 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 all the way up to 1023, which is the max on this. That's as high as it can go. We can go as low as zero and as high as 1023. So that gives us 100 and, or 1,024 steps that the analog pin can read. Now, why I said this is one of the most important things you can do? Well, we can do all sorts of things with that, including changing this value of between 0 and 1023 into a voltage. So that's pretty simple. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, here you go. And I've rewritten the code a little bit to add in what we need to read voltage from our analog pin. I forgot to put this in here. So we will define a float variable called volts and store zero in it so that is our float variable which means it can have a decimal point integer no decimal point float decimal point uses very little memory uses very much memory keep that in mind as you're doing this no change to our setup here's our change here so again we're we're reading that analog value from pin a0 storing it in the variable called potentiometer then we're saying our new value volts equals the value in the potentiometer times our input voltage which is five in this case divided by the total number of steps then we're going to print the value of potentiometer we're going to put a couple spaces in there and then we're going to print our volts so let me bring that up there's our serial interface and as I turn the knob you can see a value of about 30 equals 0.14 volts let's see if we get one volt here so one volt is a value of 2.4 so now 2.55 no 512 which is about halfway 512 should be about 2.5 volts. Yep, there we go. And then all the way at the top, 1023 should read 5 volts. So there you go. Get an idea of how that works. Let me show you this in uh, real time just so there's no questions. All right, so there we go. You can see the serial interface over here. There's our code. There's our Arduino, there's our potentiometer. And as I turn it, values change. Pretty simple. But this is one of the foundation things you need to understand if you're gonna play with Arduino. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching this. I wouldn't be here without you. That's it. I'm out. Peace.